actually an eye drop that can reverse the drops that your eye doctor just put in your eyes, making everything super bright and difficult to read. I'm gonna explain that coming up. I am Dr. Rupa, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, hit the like, follow, and subscribe button so you can get these videos as soon as I make them. All right, you have gone to your eye doctor's office. We always put those dilating drops in your eyes. The reason we do it is so that we can fully examine the inside of your eye to make sure your retina and optic nerve and everything else look perfectly normal. But of course, it has the terrible side effect of making everything very, very bright and you're really sensitive to light. In addition, you can't see up close. Well, about 15 to 20 years ago, there was an eye drop called RevEyes, which was supposed to reverse the effects of the dilation drops that we put in the eyes. It's no longer available in this country. They took it off the market, not for safety or efficacy reasons, probably just it wasn't making enough money, but now there is a new eye drop. It was just FDA approved and it is called Nixol. So it's a preservative free eye drop and it works kind of by the same mechanism of action as the previous one, the RevEyes. It makes your pupil smaller and that improves your contrast sensitivity and improves your vision. The active medication in it is called fentolamine and that is what's called an alpha antagonist. Now, what that does is it works on the iris dilator muscles and it counteracts the effects of the dilation drops we put in there. Usually when you come to the ophthalmologist or optometrist's office, we have a bunch of different drops that we can put in the eyes to make the pupil big. Certain drops work to stimulate the iris dilator muscle and other drops work to block the iris contraction muscle. But the drops that also work on the contraction muscle of the iris, they are the ones that usually also make it so you can't read up close because they change the shape of the lens of your eye so it doesn't work as well. So it cannot fatten up and help you focus up close. So the Nixol eye drops went through several phases of the FDA trials. And what they found is that it does reduce the size of your pupil. So when you go to the eye doctor's office, we make your pupil really big. This eye drop does reverse that at one hours after they put it in, two hours, and even four hours after they instilled it. And what it did was that it helped the pupil return to its baseline normal size faster than placebo at 90 minutes. So an hour and a half after, which I know is still a long time to suffer, being really sensitive to light, it got you to a baseline measurement back to your regular pupil size. It shortened the dilation time on average by four hours, which is huge. If you have four hours more of being able to get work done or being able to go outside, it's great. Currently, it's also being studied in children. So it might get FDA approval for kids ages three and above. But is this actually gonna be a benefit? Well, for kids, we use a stronger dilating drop than we use for adults. And the trials that they did for this particular eye drop for Nixol, they didn't study the strong drop that we use in kids called cyclopentylate. Instead, they studied tropicamide, phenylephrine, they didn't study the cyclopentylate. So we really don't know if it's going to be effective for children who we typically use the stronger drop for. The reason we use the stronger cyclopentylate drop in kids is their iris muscle is much stronger. So it's much harder to dilate their pupils than it is for adults. Also, the only way to be able to check to see if a child needs glasses is to use this particular cyclopentylate eye drop because that really paralyzes the focusing muscles of the eye. The other drops just dilate the pupil. They don't paralyze the focusing as much as the cyclopentylate. Dilating someone's pupil depends on a lot of different things. It depends on the color of the eye. We tend to see that brown eyes are a little bit harder to dilate than lighter eyes. Depends on someone's age as well as the medications they're on. Lots of different medicines can make it more difficult to dilate the pupil. These same medicines may also affect whether or not Nixol is going to be a benefit. 
We're just gonna have to see. That eye pun was intended. Now, is this eye drop, the NYX all going to help with your reading up close? Are you gonna be able to text after your eye doctor's appointment? Maybe. One of the endpoints in the study did show that people were able to focus up close a little bit better after the Nixol compared to baseline, but the jury is still out because they didn't really quantify it in some of the other studies. And for the children, they certainly didn't look at that either. It certainly seems as if it can bring the pupil size down to your baseline, but we don't know about the texting reading after it. I would just love to hear your comments. If you've been to the eye doctor's office, did they have Nixol? Were you able to get it? And did it help? Drop that in the comments below. If you have any other questions or concerns, I'd love to hear. Drop them in the comments too. And let me know what other eye health video topics you would like for me to address. I'm happy to do so. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye for now.